Hi, this is Keith with How to Build Your Own Home, and I want to talk about uh, human relations. I kind of emphasize this a lot as a builder because I've seen owner builders, I've seen general contractors mess up on human relations all the time. And as a result, the job suffers, seriously. You are a leader as a builder. You are working with human beings. So the two best qualities that really need to happen in a great relationship are the first one, communication. Constant communication with your subcontractor. If your, if your subcontractor is not communicating with you, fire them, <laughs> get rid of them. This morning, Al called me at eight o'clock in the morning. I was tired, I was still in bed, it was a long night. He says, hey, are you gonna be here today? Yeah, I'll be there. Great, well, I need to ask a couple of questions. That's why I keep hiring him. I use him for a lot of jobs because he's constantly texting me. He'll send me a picture. I don't understand this. What do you want here? Uh, if was something was written on the plan that's kind of squibbly and he can't read it, hey, can you come help me to understand that? Uh, that's in, in, in imperative that you have. Constant communication. I used the guy on another job, a, a subcontractor. I won't mention the, the, the trade that he's in. I texted him, I called him, I emailed him, nothing back. He's not, being, he's not gonna be used on this job. Uh, communication is, is probably the, the best quality that you can maintain or have with your subcontractor. As far as yourself, you gotta communicate also, but the best quality you can have as a, as a builder or as an owner builder is to be thankful. I'm, I'm serious just coming on a job site and saying, hey, thanks, patting them on the back. I've got a cooler over there. When I walked up on the job site, it was already over 100 degrees this morning, and I was carrying some Gatorade with a big bag of ice. And I go, where do you put that? Put it on our cooler. So he was thankful. That didn't cost much. Being thankful that they're out here early, working through the day in the heat, it's, it's incredible how far that goes. I showed up there today. They all said hello to me. Hey, thanks for the drinks. And they all had big, huge sodas and drinks. Thanks, Kells Construction. Thankful, being thankful. I've gone on so many jobs and worked for other general contractors and they were never thankful. And they could never scale their business. They were never really a successful business because they're always finding fault with somebody and always yelling and screaming. Being thankful as a builder and looking for communication in your subcontractor. I'm serious. If you can find a contract, subcontractor is going to communicate with you, then it's easy to be thankful for that. <laughs> oh man, those are, if you have those two things mesh up, you got a great relationship. This is Keith Kelsch with How to Build Your Own Home.